Well, hello, my name is Leila Mata. I'm the Residential Light Director. Uh, we already sent a couple of videos, so I hope you remember me. Uh, we just wanted to share a little bit of what's going on right now. Uh, we are hitting October, and this is a very important time. As I told you, the students in Agos are very in that mood of feeling in love of everything, in the honeymoon, as we call it. And now they are sitting, settling down a little bit more. Now they know how classes work, now the routine start, class, activities in the residence. So now they understand what it implies to be here, but it also means that they are more aware about the things they are missing from home, right? So, of course, the food is always a very big challenge. Uh, missing parents, missing friends, especially if things are going on back home, like family celebrations or their previous friends doing celebrations, graduations, or specific activities that they enjoy a lot. Uh, so right now we are receiving more students uh, with our counselors and we are providing a lot of support, individual support from the tutor and the residence coordinators. So we are proactive with that. We ask them to do individual activities with that. And that's when we start realizing about all these kind of things. Very important pieces of advice we share with them is to be connected with social media, Instagram, Facebook, but not 24 seven, because that's very difficult for them to see what's going on there. And doesn't allow them to start creating a social group here. And the same with family. We always said that it's so important that you keep in touch, uh, they keep in touch with all of you back home, but also that don't go to the extreme of uh, having conversations 24 seven, because again, they will then not have the time to stable relationships here. Um, so we are in that moment when uh, they are also trying to identify what else they can do to feel more and more um, part of the school, right? We are gonna have a very important camp in October. It's just for first years. So um, in this camp, this camp is very crucial because many of them realize that all of them are having the same feelings and the same experiences and somehow that helped them to feel better. And it's also interesting that when they come back to school, we spend off of campus just one night, but then when they come back, they start saying, wow, it's interesting, I wanted to come back home, right? So they start realizing that for the first time, they do feel attached to the school and they start developing this identity and feel that they belong to this community, right? It still is a process and we know that some of them are struggling now with that adaptation process, uh, but they know uh, what's going on. From the wellness piece, we also do uh, right now a lot of activities. We call it dessert nights and we have conversations that help us to prevent uh, a lot of stress or a lot of conflicts um, just because of the transition or getting used to live with roommates, etc. So that's going also really well and I think the students enjoy that a lot. We just have a specialist that uh, visit us frequently. She's a consultant, a psychologist, and we were talking about trauma and wellness in general. So some of the students participate on the workshops and I think it's also probably you will hear a, a little bit more about how students are learning to talk and to take care of themselves and help others. So that's also a part of, of the process and how we support them to settle down more and more. Uh, so there is also for the ones that are missing home a lot, we also help them to see that if they have the chance to go home in December, then December is coming and then they can feel that it's shorter and not to see this as a two years um, distance from home, but that very soon they can be at home. And for the ones that would not have the chance to go home in December, we start explaining the activities we do here. The school stays open and then we try to do celebrations and activities with them so they also enjoy, rest, and have fun and get distracted um, and not thinking all the time about I wish to, to be at home, right? Uh, there are even service activities and, and to be honest, they enjoy a lot. We usually have between 30 and 40 kids staying here. So that's like the flow that is coming. Now there are a lot of activities happening in the other areas. They just passed the first week of exams. So that's another very important moment because they start learning how their teachers are grading them, what, how the evaluation works, what are the, the specific topics they have to develop more skills or to study more. So all of that helps them to feel a little bit more safe and secure. Uh, but please count on us. I think that when we work as a team, we help them 
even better and then they feel more support so once more if you have any question concern please contact me you have my email address I think we're gonna put it there somewhere so just feel free to contact us we are here to help you and they are learning a lot I, I think that once you look at them again you will see how much they are growing and how they are start seeing things in a different way so I, I hope you enjoy the video and please keep in touch